hey my friend so today we're going to talk about creating your first course or maybe not your first course but creating a course on the Click eCourse platform if you don't know this I've been building a platform that allows you to host courses that you can sell for free now the free account lets you do pretty much everything it's just the amount it's like for example you can only host two courses on the free account if you want to host more you got to pay for it but we're going to show you how to host a course there's other things you can and can't do in the free account but mostly it's all open on the free account so first let's go as uh, check this out we're as, before we go on let me just talk about show you this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so before we go on let me just say if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go to cis257.jsgagnon.com cis257.jsgagnon.com to go watch the video because it'll be definitely better if you can watch the video and to find out how uh to do all this and you know I'm going to share the screen I'm going to show you how all this works and um so we're going to do that and show you how to create a course I mean obviously the basics of the platform is like any other platform you got to create an account you got to register an account uh, we have a very simple process where you go to the site and you click a button to register and then you just get an activation link in your email uh, actually right now I'm actually just reloading I should have planned this ahead obviously uh, I should have planned it ahead to prepare my browser and everything else right now it's all loading up and it's uh, using up all my computer uh, okay almost there let's go here so I'm just gonna go and show you this click ecourse.com we're gonna log out because I'm already logged in oops over here and there we go perfect okay so let me just share the screen all right so when you go to click ecourse you're going to see just this page like this you go to click ecourse.com and you first have to obviously you have to set up an account so let's just do that right now I'm just going to click on register right here and that'll pop up the registration you can use Facebook to register if you want you just click on the use Facebook to register right uh, otherwise you can also just use an email I'm going to go and use an email because I already have obviously an account for my um for my from my Facebook profile right and, and I want to show you what it looks like when you create a brand new account so I'm just going to click on the register and what happens is it'll tell you that you got an email that you can go check that email to activate your account so uh then I just uh, go to my email and we can see the email right here it's very simple uh, you get an account activation link like this if uh, we can load up there we go so when you get the activation link you'll just say welcome to click eCourse you or someone else requested an account and if you did not you can just ignore this email as activation link will expire after two days or you may less let us know to delete the account however if you did request the account you are a simple step away from having access click this link to activate your account now so just click on this link and that will activate your account on click eCourse where, where it'll show you successfully activated right all right so that's the first step to creating an account once you're logged once you're on the site you're going to see the news feed right here news feed shows basically uh, people who have their uh, profile pictures on there um, course being added lessons being added to courses uh, ratings being done uh, people setting up their profile picture um, etc right all this stuff news uh, things like that so it's a news feed you can it's like Facebook you can you can post uh, news feeds you can go to your 
your own uh well actually you can do that right here you can just click here and then you can just type in a new uh this hey hey there so you can just say I'm just just testing out the platform looks pretty great so far right so you can post something like this um and then it just shows up right here and then if you want to update your profile you go to the profile right here you say profile picture in basic info for example and we can go in here and we can set our profile picture just go to this say for example uh, let's go in here so I've been trying to rent my apartment here let's just go to my files here into let's go into here and let's just use uh, let's just use this one go like this and then I just save it and there you go so now I have a profile picture as you can see up here it's got a profile picture if I was to go into the feed again I might see this it depends the feed is going to show things <clears throat> based on so yeah, as you can see it's not the same stuff it's just like any other social media platform where the feed is based on activity based on randomness uh, things like that right okay so in any case we're talking about creating a course right so how do you create a course on Click eCourse it's really quite simple so first of all you got to realize that a course is a set of videos organized in basically in in a sequence that you want people to to learn right so if I go for example to the courses uh, page right here I can see all the courses that are on the site right now um you can see uh, LinkedIn profile secrets growth can LinkedIn connection growth secrets TikTok master's course uh, uh, traffic unleashed Facebook friend growth tip your first leads in five days course income secrets right here that's actually a it's a repository really of the episodes I do every day it's not really a course but that's the thing about click eCourse you can actually create basically a repository of all your daily episodes in one place right so people can have access to them all and they can listen to them and watch them and that's kind of what I use it as for as well but it's gonna have all these courses Liz building profit YouTube channel boost modern Instagram marketing the 12 steps to your online success um things you may not know about me that's stuff I, I probably should I know these are tests there was course engagement hacks there was real talk podcast here WordPress training kit CIS for Alexa Zen mastery creating your first course so by the way this this course here is actually a course on how to create your first course so if you go to create to here just go to creating your first course find creating your first course on the on the main page it's actually a free course I can just add this to my library and now I can just actually watch the course I just click on this and it'll start playing the course for me right so I'm just gonna mute this so by the way I think something something on my network is uh, and there's the cute little robot Click e course okay so now it'll play the actual uh, video from the course hey which is basically one of the videos uh that explains how to create a course so that's uh you can go through this right if I go back to the course right here you can actually see the different episodes so uh corner icons how to use them how to register for your account before you can upload videos uh, course is not of any use without a lesson adding a file navigating the site set up the account conclusion right so I mean that's that's uh, how to create a course we're going to go through this again right now I'm just going to go and show you kind of how that works but basically all it is is you click on the little plus right here and you click on the course to create a new course right to do that that'll let you create a brand new course now one of the things you have to uh you have to know maybe is there's a couple things like I said the free account lets you do this let's go to uh, before we do that let's just go show you the different plans um, so the free account uh, over here you can see the the free account is right here the free plan right then there's beginner influencer professional extreme different plans have different uh, features but you can see all these features are in the free account all these features right all the top two sections are in the free account right 
so for example you can view public pages and post on them you can view public groups and post on the groups you can see public posts in news feeds you can see public comments on courses and lessons you can see public profiles you can view free courses and lessons you can buy courses <laughs> the free plan now that was all the anonymous access if you don't even have an account you can do those things but once you create an account a free account you can also create public paste pages and post to them you can create public private and secret groups and post to groups you can access uh you get access to weekly training you can invite friends to and recording for a week you can create open access self-directed courses kind of what we're talking about you can save progress of courses you can embed videos from YouTube Facebook or Vimeo as lessons you can send private messages to other members you can comment on courses lessons or news feed and rate courses you can earn income by referring others to buy courses there's a syndication engine where you can upload video and generate sharing artifacts you can create upload and give away your own courses you can hide profile from public view you you can create your own blog site featuring WordPress self-hosted and you can earn income by selling your own courses so that's everything you get in the free account the difference with the paid accounts that you might be interested in knowing about is that uh, in the um, very first the the basic the beginner plan you can also um, allow members to download mp3 audios to your courses you can also use rss feed for podcast and alexa uh, you also can uh, where's the create public use your own and yeah so you can do all that in the second level plan you can then use download video files from youtube for you instead of just hosting like say for example um if you have a video if you want to have a, a less a course your videos are going to have to be on YouTube and then you put the link for the video to the course right but if you pay if you go to the um this one is the influencer plan then you'll be able to have the videos hosted on Click eCourse so that means that you people won't see the link to your to your YouTube they won't know that it's a YouTube or a Facebook video well it's it's not anymore it'll be right on the site so you can actually upload your videos instead of having to host on uh, those platforms right and then there's other features here but the thing is that the difference is really just ten dollars a month or thirty dollars a month for the, those two plans and then of course there's the other plans with higher uh, more things you can do you can see all these different things in this page all right so now let's go back to the course we're going to call this test course for cis257 so this is a test course for click uh, course income course income secrets episode number 257 uh, in this course in this course I will show you how to okay so the details the summary and the test the title are what is used to display your course on the news feed and elsewhere right if you click on next the search engine keywords you can put in here uh, you know keywords for search engines uh, hashtags then uh under the header code there's different things you can have a conversion bot id you can have a header code some specific like for example if you want to keep track of google uh, google analytics so you want to put your facebook pixel in there you can put that all in here under categories uh you can just add different categories in here whatever categories you want if you want to create a new category uh you know for example i don't know uh, healthy eating right i don't know if i have that but... and then you just say next right here right and if i now and then there's the cover image the 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 picture that's going to show up so I'm just going to put one of these again I'm going to put uh, I don't know this one here and then I click on next and now I have the price if this is a course I want to sell I can and by the way I would highly recommend that the price you put here is the value of your course not necessarily the price you want to sell it at because you can use coupons and deals to show a price so let's say for example this is going to be 997 I want to give away 75 percent commission to anybody 
and there you go and then that's the price and of course still not ready I don't need to, I don't I'm not going to make it public but I can make it unlisted or things like that for now if I click on the sales is not something we need to worry about right now but okay so now you've got a course it's 997 and there's no lessons in it so that the first thing you got to do is you got to add lessons to your course right so by adding lessons to your course um that's well the content of your course your course is is just the skeleton of what you're doing right the actual content the actual lessons are what you're going to be teaching so you know obviously you I recommend you organizing your thoughts of your course you know what is it that you're going to be teaching the content so you want to have an introduction to your course you'd want to have the content and then maybe you have some uh some some way of tracking where 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 somebody is right what they've done so far and then you've got a conclusion which is supposed to help them to finalize their uh their course right but in your course let's say it's about uh well uh, losing weight or 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 eating healthy or or building your presence online let's say personal branding that kind of stuff you would have the the different lessons and this is all you do you just click on the little lessons here the plus right there or down here you'll have a uh, actually that's no it's, so under here you just click on the plus for lessons and in here you're going to put your link to your YouTube so I'm just going to go into my YouTube and you know obviously this is not real I'm just going to take some random YouTube videos in here actually yesterday's uh, episode let's say copy get shareable link I go in here whoops over here no oh right here <laughs> I might as well close these tabs let's just close these tabs to not confuse me okay so this is the course I just put the link right here and I click on save so what that does is it goes to YouTube and it gets the cover image the title the description things like that from there um and there we go back to the course now and now we have this video here which is a 27 minute video right and it's just called new lesson and you can just edit the lesson in here and you can say okay this is the introduction introduction um and over here I'll say learn what is this course about so I mean obviously you want to put text and there's details you can put even more stuff in here um and you can also make this course this lesson free access I one of the one of the recommendations is that your at least your introduction is free so people can actually see what you're about and then you want to publish it when you're ready when you have everything done if you've got the right image the right uh, description everything else you just save that and then it's a published lesson so now when I go back to the to the course I click on course right here now I see I have this this course with this one lesson in it and I can add other lessons right if I go on plus right here I just create another lesson let's just go and add let's use this one and I'm going to push that right there obviously this is not you know it's not really what you want right you want you don't want but if I do this it's downloading the image it's getting I don't know why I didn't get it for the first one here but anyways that's kind of what it's supposed to do right? the title summary and details are all going to be the same because it went and got it from YouTube if I just edit this I can just change that and this is going to be you know uh, this is going to be uh, how to well making making the decision right I don't know whatever the course would be right I'll show you how to make the decision course decision let's say for example it was about losing weight or something right so and I do the same I'm not going to make this a free access no but we're going to go and publish it and we're just going to save that and if I go back to the list I've uh, no well I, yeah you can see the two videos right here and if I go to my course I see the two videos right there right so they're right there lesson number two lesson number one so you can add more lessons to your course like this um obviously you you kind of have to plan that ahead but you should already know 
what your course is about um who your audience is what you're going to be talking about right what are you going to be teaching but that's the basics of it now the other thing that you might want to do is you're going to want to have a like I said this course is 997 right obviously uh, it's got to be worth that but what you want to do is if you want to sell it for 197 or 97 dollars you can go in here and you can create a deal I'm going to create a deal for 97 dollars I'm going to say it ends on uh 2020-1130 right and I'm going to say submit okay so now I have a deal on this course if I reload this page you'll see that now it's at 97 dollars until a certain date now if I'm a if I'm I don't know if I can connect let's go and see if I didn't publish it so if the course is not published when I go to that it just says this doesn't exist right doesn't don't have access if I go and I click on the edit right here I can go under access and I can make this a unlisted course now I could make it a public course right here or people that are logged in or only people who bought it which basically the same thing as unlisted I guess but unlisted um it allows me to make the course available with a link to the course but it doesn't show up on the home page and this since this is a test course I don't want it to show up on the test page so home page so I'm going to do that and if I reload this now now the course shows up and it shows me that it's 97 dollars and I can unlock this course but I can actually must be purchased to view the right so this is uh actually that's interesting this should have been uh, free free access oh okay all right so and that's kind of how you do the courses right I mean it's pretty straightforward it's it's a very simple process you just add the videos like if you have 10 videos and you've already created them and maybe they're on in a Facebook group or something where and you're worried that they're going to be disappearing because Facebook will shut you down or anything will happen or maybe they decide to delete something or maybe some something happens you can bring them in to this platform here and save them and make them available to anybody much I've I think easier than on say Facebook or YouTube right I mean that's the thing it's not always um easy to go and find stuff on Facebook if you got a Facebook group for example that you're teaching something like I did a a bunch of um I did a bunch of you know challenges right so a five-day challenge on on Facebook live five-day challenge on getting your first leads I did a five-day challenge on uh automating your mini chat with Facebook messenger right I did all these different things and and those were in groups in Facebook and if if anybody wants to go find the stuff I mean I know they have the units now and there's you can kind of organize things but it, this Facebook is so how can I put it they they control they want to control what people see and what people don't see all the time right so it might be hard to go find the stuff in the groups and with a platform like this you can just put it in the place you want and then people whenever they go they'll see it all right if I go back to my to the courses here if I go to any of these courses like for example the profile secrets this course here you can see the lessons right there right they're all right there and that's it that's as simple as that right and anybody can see exactly what the course is they can and if it's a free course let's say it's a free course what's wrong one uh I go back to courses if it's uh this one is actually a free course which I would have to be logged in to get but let me go into the other one here if I go back to courses and I go to one of these free courses LinkedIn profile secrets is a free course I can just add this to my library right and just go like this now I have the course in my library if I go to my account under library right there I can see these courses that I have right this is a course I added the creating your first course the LinkedIn profile secrets I can go back to here and I can add like a uh, course income secrets for example which is this this uh, this is an episode of course income secrets right if I go to the bottom here you can see I have all these 
courses 255 256 254 all these lessons right so I'm just going to add this course to my library and now I have this course in my library as well right same thing with uh CIS for Alexa which is another uh, free course where is it right here so I'm just going to add this to my library now why am I showing you this because to show you how simple it is to add a course and when you make your course available for free they can just people can just add add it to their library right but if it's a paid course they basically have to pay for it then it becomes part of their library right and if I oh and by the way if you're on this page you want to see you can click on show the price and it'll show you the courses that have a price on them and see the ones that are free you'll see free right there and the price here and then uh, let's say where's the course oh, it's not there the one that I just created won't be there because and uh, you know and this one here was another one that I did a while ago a test course and it's showing 100 percent off zero dollars until 31st of December right if I go to this course I'd say oh wow a five thousand dollar course well obviously it's not true it's just a a test course that I had done I probably should delete it or something but anyways that's one of the courses yeah Frank FXOS so what else can I tell you about navigating the site so by the way whenever you're on the site you're going to be able to see notifications right here and you're going to be able to see messages or, or conversations and over here you're going to be able to go to your profile there's a whole bunch of different things obviously that have to do with your profile your preferences whether you get notification the notifications you can use invites you can have people come to the site by sending them an invite link and basically in here you just enter somebody's email and you know then it they'll get an email so if I just do this I send an invite that'll send an invite to that email and it'll add it to my list of invites right so and then I can cancel the invite or send a reminder so that'll send an email to the person which is me in this case right and let me see I don't know how long it takes for the email to come in but if I go back to my gmail I haven't even you know looked at this in a while but look at this set up invitation to set up your clicky course so you have been invited by to set up an account on clicky course you now expect this you may reply to this email to notify the admins of the site the rules clearly state that users should never send an invite without knowing the person they are inviting we take this very seriously and may ban a user who sends too many invites to unknown users however if you did want if you did want to set up an account click the link below so that'll allow uh, you to create an invite as an account on the site so that's kind of how how invites are used all right invites that's invites what else we have also social links so if you want to create like if you want to have um you can just here's the, all the different social links you can create a TikTok link if you want or a click eCourse link or a blogger link or an Alexa link or an iHeart link all these different platforms or just a regular website generic website uh, whatever site you want WordPress site for example right and any of these uh have a predetermined some of them have a predetermined you know LinkedIn profile LinkedIn page so LinkedIn profile is company slash something right so if I go Jean-Serge Gagnon right that's my uh I have this link now LinkedIn page I add another one I want to add an Instagram so this will be Jean-Serge Gagnon I save that so now once I have once I have these I can move them around if I want and then if I go to my about page now I have these links right here right and it shows shows me how many people clicked on them um, so that's your social links and um, what else security your password details your date of birth time zone uh, library social links news so news is your news feed it's kind of like posting but directly on your profile so people come to your profile they can actually see whatever you posted here that also shows up in the news feed to some extent according to the algorithm but uh, yeah that's kind of how you just do the same thing here this this is an update so testing post to my own feed so post then that shows up here right and 
and yeah so that's your feed uh what else um courses and then under more of course you have the blog you can actually set up your own wordpress blog which kind of we kind of explain what that is you just go to account blog and that'll be where you can set up your wordpress blog uh what else is syndication as well syndication is basically a platform uh, something that lets you uh create assets to host to social media to different platforms you just create your video and then you enter information and you click a button and that's it right one two three and you're done and you have all the assets you need to post to all the different platforms that's kind of what I do right I create my episode like this right now on how to create a course and then I I want to share that to podcasts I want to share that to LinkedIn to Pinterest to to Facebook to uh, all the platforms that I want to use and it takes time to create all these assets so this syndication lets you create all the assets in by the clicking a button and uh, so yeah I'm kind of all over the place I guess today um but yeah so that's kind of what that's kind of how you create a course and if you want to go find your course you go back to your courses right here those are the courses you created right so this is your course that you created right here and you can just click on it to go back to the to the course itself and go add things to it or go edit it or maybe add and the other thing you know you can have a coupon for courses and the core the difference between a deal and a coupon is a deal is a price that's set from a certain date to a certain date right it's a time time boxed price special price whereas a coupon is something you can give to people and they can use that coupon and you can keep track like you can create say 10 coupons at you know at at 49 dollars right if I if I do go here I can create a coupon so super deal whatever you want to call it I'm going to make it 49 dollars and I'm going to give it 10 of them right and I just submit this and now I have this coupon here super deal right if I open the link in incognito somebody who goes to this they'll see it at 49 dollars there's 10 coupons left so as soon as they use that coupon then it's going to say there's only nine I could actually have a another coupon I can have a free freebie freebie and it's going to be zero and oh I should have uh, sorry I should have made this I want to delete this and I want to actually I want to call it free B and I want it to be zero and I'm going to make it five submit right so now I have this freebie coupon and if I right click on this open incognito you can see now that with the freebie coupon it shows it at zero dollars see zero dollars and if I was to click add to library it won't work because I'm not logged in but you must log in and register right so but the thing is that that would add it and then it would show that there was only four coupons left so that's kind of what the coupons are how the coupons work right so that's uh, yeah so that's how you create a course on Click eCourse hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any uh, questions of course reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.